All right, I've made some good progress on my RF front end for my hydrogen line radio astronomy project that I've been working on. I just wanted to briefly discuss what I've done so far. In front of me here is the feed horn assembly for the radio telescope. This will sit at the focal point of my dish. While not much of a feed horn, it is a coaxed waveguide adapter um, that I custom built out of 6061 aluminum. It is to the WR650 waveguide specification, which is L-band. Um, and inside, you can see there is a quarter wavelength long copper probe situated a quarter wavelength from the back short of the waveguide adapter itself. The rest of it, as far as the RF front electronics, sit behind the actual waveguide adapter here. So the first thing I've got is a very low noise amplifier made by Mini Circuits. It's well, in their ZRL series, designed to operate up to 2.4 gigahertz. The output of that goes to this, which is a cavity filter tuned to 1420 megahertz, exactly what I'm looking for for the hydrogen line. It was initially at 1430, but I was able to tune it down using my VNA to 1420, which was ideal. Then on the back here, I have my down converter, kind of mounted in a makeshift copper box. I've talked about this in the past before. Um, it is basically it can be used for many frequencies. I designed it for 1420. It has a volt voltage control oscillator on there as a local oscillator. I've got it temporarily wired up to power um, for use in the testing that I'm doing now. The output of that then goes through a mini circuits low pass filter. This is to remove the original frequencies along with the image frequency, only passing my ideal down converted frequency out of it. There's some obvious harmonics and other frequencies in there too, but for the most part it, it filters out everything that I'm not looking for. So for testing, what I've done is I have my RF generator over here tuned to 1420 megahertz that I've previously calibrated on my frequency analyzer. Um, right now it's at a level of negative 50 dBm, which is approximately 10 nanowatts, so a very low amount of power. And that is feeding to right here you can see a quarter wavelength probe, a little transmit antenna that I've soldered onto a SMA uh, connector on the output of the RF frequency gener generator. And that's positioned in, uh, about a foot and a half in front of my feed horn assembly there. So I've got it all powered up. Um, power supply is here running everything. The top one is for the low noise amplifier and down converter. The second one is my down converter as well. And the bottom one is the tuning frequency for the VCO on the down converter too. So what I'm going to do is the output of the low pass filter here is going to my spectrum analyzer, currently set in a range of 100 to 300 megahertz. And the tuning crystal or the, the VCO on my down converter is currently at 1200 megahertz. Uh, actually 1201. I had previously just probed it there on the frequency counter. So when I turn the RF generator on, as far as the RF output, we should see a 200 megahertz spike, or a 220 megahertz spike, I should say, based on the 1420 megahertz frequency and the 1200 local oscillator frequency. So I'm going to turn my RF output on here, and there is the output that you can see. So just to show, I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Just to verify, I'll do a peak search, peak search, and... Uh, 221 megahertz at negative 37 dBm, which is actually perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for based on the fact that my LO was 1201. So it is right exactly where it needs to be. Um, just to show that this is working as well, what I'll do is I'll take a piece of copper, PCB, and I'll actually place it in front of the adapter here. And when I do so, it's covered. You can see the spike drop down, remove it, it's back, covered, drops down attenuating the signal. So it is working. Um, it's very sensitive. I still have to calculate what my current gain is and noise and everything else. But right now I am very happy with the results of this thus far.